What's up guys? Thank you very much for joining me today. My name is Asalia from AP Tech, helping you grow further and faster in YouTube. In this channel, we do tech gear review and also tips and strategies. Today, we're going to help you on how to update your BMW so iDrive. So you might want to update your BMW for so many reasons. Um, one reason it could be that you've just purchased your BMW and you want to update and you want to be most up to date software. You don't know when was the last time it was updated. Second reason it might be that you have not updated your BMW and you've owned it for a very long time and you want to update your iDrive system or the map or the navigator or any other information that comes with the iDrive. Third reason is that you might be experiencing some sort of a glitch into your system or into your iDrive and you want to update so that way you are into the most latest software. Fourth reason, again, it basically pretty much all above and you just wanna be up to date like myself. Um, I've updated this BMW last year and I'm updating it again this year. So this is part two video. So whereas I have already showed you how to update your BMW in my previous video, I'm gonna leave a link above right now and you can watch that if you want to but this video will add on some information from that video. So it will be pretty much the same, but this will be more information, up-to-date information, regardless of that video. If you want to achieve the maximum information, I would suggest you to watch both videos, so that way I might have covered some information in that video, might be useful towards yours. So I'm going to run you through as my BMW. Your BMW might be slightly different to mine, my vehicle is 2016, that's the reg, that's the age, it's 2016, it's BMW 330e, it's hybrid. So it's not a standard gasoline engine, it's a hybrid vehicle. So that way, there might be some quirks a little bit different to yours. Somebody asked me on my previous video, why do I have to press the engine um, ignition twice in order to turn it off. This is my vehicle, again, it's different to yours. You might need to press it once. The reason I have to press it twice is because my vehicle, once I press the ignition off once, it turns off the ignition. However, it still leaves electricity running through and you can use the music, the aircon and everything, although you've turned off the engine. That is one of the reasons that I have to press it twice. So when you press it twice, it basically shuts off completely and once it shuts off it would update the software once you have plugged off i'm going to run you through the things that you need and so that way you can prepare yourself to the final result so the first thing is in order for you to e execute this correctly and properly with time efficient you need to identify your usb port where in your vehicle do you have a usb port so every vehicle is different Mine, I have it in my center call here. I've got a uh, USB port right there in the center call. So every vehicle is different. So once you've identified yours, yours might be in the glove box. I don't know where it is, but once you've identified your USB port, and that's where you would plug in your USB. The second thing that you'll need is that you will need to first find your VIN number. What is a VIN number? It stands for vehicle identification number. So now where do you find that VIN number? There are so many places where you can find. I've discovered four different places, although I could discount two straight away. The first place you can find your VIN number is through your iDrive. However, the iDrive will only give you the last seven digits. You will need the entire full, digi full digits. The second place where you can find your VIN number is from your driver side or your passenger side. There is a sticker there and your VIN number should be there. The third place where you can find your VIN number is through your windscreen or dashboard. And I'll show you basically uh, through your windscreen or dashboard. That's where your VIN number is. And this VIN number is the full VIN number. So that's perfect. And I, every vehicle in UK has this, but I don't know about Europe or USA or the rest of the world where your VIN number is. The fourth place where you could find your VIN number is your logbook. In UK, we use the word logbook. Logbook is another word of just a piece of paper that's recognized by the government where they send it to you or when you purchase a vehicle and that's registered by the government that this vehicle is fully taxed and etc. It has you all the entire information of your vehicle and your VIN number could be found from there. So once you've identified these information, you will go to your trusted computer and then I'll walk you through there. 
Now let's go to my trusty computer. All right, so now we're heading to our trusty computer. You just need a USB something like this. Um, so you don't need nothing fancy. So I'm just, I'm using a MacBook. So I've got a, some sort of a USB-C adapter and I'm just gonna put it in into here. And that's my USB in. So once I've imported, I'm gonna take you to the website. So I'm using Mac in this steps. Basically, it does not matter which computer you use. So once you plugged in the USB, um, you just need to go to your disk utility in your Mac. So once you've gone to your disk utility, you will locate the USB that you want to work on. I will suggest you to erase everything. So you just need to clear everything. So I, and then you need their file to be MDOS fat. So you've got the MDOS fat right there. So mine's currently set. So I'm going to clear everything. So first, obviously you need to back up if you've got any files in there. And if it's a new um, uh, USB, you just need to change the format to be MDOS fat. So once you've erased that, so that's gonna take you a couple of seconds. And um, so my, com my computer has erased the USB and it's just re basically um, is doing it into a format that I've requested. So now the USB has been erased. And then the last thing you need to do is you need to go to BMW website to download software. So you're just gonna uh, type BMW um, software. And then this is the last website that I was in. And this is the page that you will need to be, basically BMW software update. And then other bottom, I'm just gonna accept the cookies. Other bottom, this is where you would enter the VIN number that you've made a note of from your windscreen and it's a 17 digits. So you just type your VIN number here. I have uh, made note of my VIN number and then I'm just gonna click search. And it has basically um, said that software up to date found. So it found this is the software up to date code. And then I'm going to download this uh, file. And then once you've downloaded that file, it goes right up there. So it's a zip drive. So you just double click. And then what we're going to do is reduce the size so we're going to basically move that file into your USB. So you just need to do a drag and drop. So you can drag that file straight into the USB. And then when you open the USB, the file is in there. And right, so once you've completed with your drag and drop and, and you've got, you're ready to, good to go, you just need to eject the file. So I'm going to eject and it's nice and safe. And then obviously don't forget to take your USB. So my USB is right here. Forget to take your USB. So now you've got your USB. I'm just gonna go to the vehicle again and um, complete the process. Right, so we're back in the car now. And um, if you're actually receiving a valuable content so far, do give us a thumbs up. And um, so yeah, if you're new here, consider subscribing. What we're going to do now is literally plug it in into the center contour. So let me plug that in. So like that, that's in there. So after putting it in, so we're just gonna start the engine. Obviously you need to put your foot on the brake, start the engine. Now my car, you can't hear the engine noise. That's because my car is a hybrid. Um, so if your car is a normal gasoline engine, obviously the engine will kick in. Um, as mine, there's no nothing. Um, so the first thing we need to do is, if I just turn it around. Um, so you need to go to your menu system. So you just need to go all the way to setting. Once you go to setting, you're gonna scroll all the way down. So if I go a bit closer, you're gonna go all the way down to software update. And then in there, in the software update, you would have show current version and also update software. So, and then it's telling you, these are the information that you will get straight away. Just make sure that vehicle is basically, it's gonna take about a minute. And um, so only do this when the vehicle is stationary. Install the software. It's gonna ask you, are you sure? The ignition is on. The system will be unavailable for that kind of period. Yes, I'm happy with that. And then boom, there you go. So that is literally updating the software as we speak. So this takes less than a minute. And um, so what I'm going to do is fast forward this part here. And then and that's about it. You are pretty much done. 
okay so it's asking you the software it's telling us the software was successfully and now we need to basically uh, switch off the engine and we're going to turn off the engine in order to turn off the engine you need to press it twice the, and then that's turned off so it's waiting for the engine to completely go off as we were instructed to turn on um, turn off the engine completely to reboot itself um, so yeah we've just uh, need to turn on the ignition now so now you've got the ignition on um, so if I get closer to the iDrive so you can see the iDrive basically there and then we're gonna go all the way down to setting and then in the setting you're gonna go to your software update and you should have your um, so if you go to show current version and then it should show you uh, like this so mine is showing you my uh, ID which is my VIN number the last seven digits and you've got phone capability and you also have add-on so the phone capability is actually really helpful um, so this improves your connectivity with Bluetooth and um, all of other devices if you found this video useful um, be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe if you're new here and I'll also leave you a link of my old video above um, should you wish to watch that so just to, so you can see any difference that um, there might be some information that I've covered um, on the previous video that I might not have covered in this video so yes um, and I'll also leave a link of other BMW related um, modification updates that I've done towards my BMW F30 and one last thing if your software is up to date and you go through this process it will not update any further obviously if there's no software update available so what I would suggest you is once you plug it in into your iDrive for example your USB and it tells you um, your software or uh, it doesn't give you an option to update or install the new software then that means automatically your software is up to date so that's about it peace out